Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to see the next problem on differentiation under integral sign. So this is our question. Show that this integration is this. Hence, show that this integration is half log of lambda square plus b square upon lambda square plus a square. So first we will solve this part. Let's say this integration is i1. Integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus lambda x sine of yx dx. So now if you see uh, we have the direct formula for this integration that is integration of e raised to ax sine bx is nothing but e raised to ax upon a square plus b square and a sine bx minus b cos bx. So this is the direct formula which we can apply here. So we will have e raised to minus lambda x upon a square plus b square lambda square plus y square into a a is minus lambda sin yx minus b b is y cos yx and then we apply the lower limit and upper limit of x so we will have 1 upon lambda square plus y square when we put x equal to infinity in this term we have e raised to minus infinity this term will be e raised to minus infinity so 1 upon e raised to infinity so 1 upon infinity is nothing but 0 so 0 into this term so upper limit will be entire 0 minus when we put x equal to 0 here we have e raised to 0 which will be 1 and then we put x equal to 0 in these two terms when we put x equal to 0 this term will become 0 then we have minus y and when we put x equal to 0 here this term will become 0 we have cos of 0 so it will be 1 so we have 1 upon lambda square plus y square minus into minus will be plus y so plus y if you see this term is matching with this term so hence we have proved the first part so we have proved the first part now we have to use this proof to solve this equation okay so now we will solve this equation by using duis but here we have the two constants a and b so this is differential under integral sign using two constants we will first perform duis with respect to a so let's consider this term as i of a so we have i of a integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus lambda x cos ax minus cos bx upon x into dx if we do not have this x we would have directly used the formula of e raised to minus lambda x cos ax and cos bx but here we have x so we will apply duis with respect to a okay so let's say this is our equation one remember this is our equation one so duis with respect to a so we will get i dash of a that is we are taking derivative integration of zero to infinity we are taking derivative with respect to a so e raised to minus lambda x and x will remain constant so we will have e raised to minus lambda x upon x cos bx we are taking derivative with a and all the other variable will remain constant so b will be constant x will be constant this entire term will be constant so derivative of constant is zero what is derivative of cos ax derivative of cos ax is nothing but minus sine ax into coefficient of variable here variable is a and the coefficient is x so x minus sine ax so we will get integration of zero to infinity this x and this x will get cancelled minus sign I am taking outside so we will have minus e raised to minus lambda x sine ax dx now if you see this integration this integration is matching with this integration so we can directly write y upon lambda square plus y square but here instead of y we have a so it will be minus this minus sine a upon lambda square plus a square so this is our i dash of a but we do not want i dash of a we want i of a so we will again integrate with respect to a why we are integrating with respect to a because here we have taken duis with respect to a so we will again integrate with respect to a so integration and derivative will become i of a minus integration of this term will be a upon lambda square plus a square so this term is here we are, I am multiplying and dividing by 2 so the numerator is f dash of a and the denominator is f of a and here we have the direct formula that is integration of f dash of a upon f of a is nothing but log of f of a okay so here we are using that formula so minus half log of f of a that is lambda square plus a square plus c but now we have to find this constant value c in equation 1 we put a equal to b when we put a equal to b i will get i of b 
so i of b will be instead of a i am putting b cos of bx minus cos of bx so it will be zero so i of b is zero and when we put i a equal to b in this equation i will get i of b as minus half log of lambda square plus b square plus c but i got i of b equal to zero so we get c equal to half log of lambda square plus b square so this is how we find the c when we put the value of c here i will get i of a as minus half log of lambda square plus a square plus c c is half log of lambda square plus b square so this is our i of a so our i will be i of a i of a is minus half log of lambda square plus a square plus half log of lambda square plus b square so i am taking half common so inside we will have log of lambda square plus b square minus log of lambda square plus a square so whenever we have log of a minus log of b it is nothing but log of a by b so same formula we are applying here so we will get half log of lambda square plus b square upon lambda square plus a square so this is our i and this if you see compare this equation with this equation both the terms are matching hence proved and this is how we solve the problem on duis more such problems we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures